Hello everyone and welcome back. Yes, yes, welcome to part two of the Clean With Me. We're going to set a power hour. That's what I do, a one hour timer for my cleaning. And we're just going to jump right in. My husband just left out. You might see the other one, me just showing the mess. So I ain't even going to go ahead and show you all that. And then, yes, yes, if you are new, then please like and subscribe. We are on the road to 850 subscribers, and we are using a Sony camera, so it can kind of fade in and out a little bit, and I do apologize. So, but it's a pretty good camera. So, yes, let's get started. Let's get our hands washed, and then we'll go ahead and set the uh, timer then. I love that. It's in the summertime sparklers. I look like a hot mess, but I gotta get a shower because as soon as I get done with my cleaning, we're gonna go over to Walmart, pick up some like Kool-Aid packs, different things we need, milk. And my husband just went out to the desk to pick up the part. He's gotta go to Dave's. So May, so what are you doing? This is an older stove, so we're putting an hour on here. Okay. And I just kind of run with wherever I want to start with first, y'all. Okay, it's an hour. Let's get to it. We're going to help Mason make his bed. I told y'all that Mason does do his own bed. And then I help him with it, and I come back in here and help him clean his room. He cleans his room up in the evening. Here, get down for a minute. Get down for a minute. That's right. We want to straighten out all the covers out. Okay, good job, Mason. Thanks. One thing I've taught Mason is to do things nice and neat. If he gets in a rush because kids they are got that hyper energy, you still got to come back and redo it. Also, I'll be having a birthday on the June 5th. Mm hmm. So come do your bed. It ain't got to be perfect, but we want it to be neat. Hey, Mom. What, Mason? Just we ain't got time to talk. Hurry up. Buddy, I don't know what you're getting. You don't get to pick what you get. We pick the gifts. He's talking about, well, what are y'all going to pay me? Okay, put your stuffed animals up on the bed. Here, I'll help you. Bam, bam. There's a stuffed animal. Should we put a um, little bit? And in an hour, you can get a lot more done. That's why I've always used it than what you think you can get done cleaning. Here, Mason, get up. Little butt. Make sure you do it neatly, Mason. Come on, quit worrying about the camera and do the, do your do your bed. He's being silly right now. He's got nickels. There's a nickel arcade. And I got twenty five dollars for my birthday last time. From your aunt Kim, yeah. Yeah. It was yeah, down over by our Goodwill, and we take Kim in there a lot. That's what this big house is. Mommy has kids, but then I'll because we're not having a dental appointment. Yeah, I had to cancel and reschedule. So when did they say we will do our dental appointment, Mama? Is that how you want your stuffed animals? Because that don't look neat. I want you to do them like this. Come here, Mason. Quit worrying about the dental appointment. Come here. Why don't you face them like that? Face them this way. Here, you still got two more. Do you want to put... See? Do you want to put a big bear and little bear next to where... I don't care where you put them. Just put them on the bed. Yeah, I was going to. And y'all, the day is yeah. the first day of June. First day of June. Okay, man. Hop down for a minute. I'm so glad to see that June is here. Yep. So what do you do with this? I normally turn this for him. Turn your calendar. Flip your calendar to the right thing. I bought that, I think, at Ross's. Flip over the one to the uh, June 1st. Uh, have you already done it? Oh, you already did it. Okay, set it up there. Set Monday. You need to flip Monday. It's Tuesday. Tuesday. Hurry up. Come on, boogie butt. You just flip. Oh, well, you got to flip this way then. There we go. Okay. Now, there we go. 
calendar's on the right day. So you always... Messing, you want to go get the vacuum? You're going to vacuum your room today. It needs a good vacuum. And look at it. I need to shampoo the carpet, y'all. It's dirty. Yes, y'all, y'all are kind of going to see me kind of going up and down a lot. I do apologize for that. I know, and I am aware of that in the video, too. The vacuum's down here. Plug it in in the thing. And while he does that, I will be doing my room. I'm going to go ahead and get the dishwater started over here. We do have a... Uh, what? I can't hear you. What? Just, 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 just do it, buddy, and I'll help you in a minute. Got the little squeezer for three bucks at Big Lot. And I also use the Sour Daddy scrubbers, and they come in a three pack, Walmart. When they're in cold water, they're hard. When they're in hot water, they're soft. Make them leave it alone. Go do what you're told to do, or you're going to get in trouble. But yeah, he would normally be at school, but by the time we cancel and everything, and it being a short week, it is okay. So. This, clean this up. Mm. And I'll clean it after, too, and that's one of the main reasons I wanted it. You don't want no food and chicky junk in there. Dishes. I always hand wash my dishes. I use a dishwasher every once in a blue moon, not much. So. Mason's in her vacuum in his room. I have to get to go check on him, make sure it's getting done right. I'll show you where we're at with the hour. Okay. Get get back there. He's got it where I can't get in the door. Turn it. Get where the crumbs are. See all that tape and stuff? And by, by, by your chair. Okay. Blaine, by your chair. <laughs> Hold on. Turn it this way. See by the chair here. You're not done. It's hard to push because you ain't got it on the right thing. Now push. It's still a little hard to push. I just need to get a new vacuum. Here, get right here. See right here? See right here? In front of your dresser? Front of your dresser. Front, right here, Mason. Right here. This is how you teach kids. If they mess up, they don't get it right. They're all over the place. This is how they're going to learn to help with chores. It is nice. Right here, bud. Watch. Now, you gonna move your stool so we can get under your stool? Move your stool. Move your stool. Get that little gadget under there. What's that gadget? See that little green ball? Okay, put it put it in your basket or something. Now 
Okay, let's get the chair and stuff put back and the rug. So yeah, you're on there. Take your rug, Mason, put your stool back. Quit worrying about yapping to them. We can yap to them later. Because they're clean with me. They want to see us clean. Let's get the vacuum out of here and the stool back where it goes. Here, I'll get the stool, you get the vacuum. Put it back in the hall area where it goes. All right. His little rug. I think his Aunt Kim gave him that too. Okay, so he's got shoes. Mason, I'll do it this time. Make sure you remember to put your shoes back down where they go. Oh, yeah. I was recording the video when you came. If you're not using this stuff, it needs to be picked up and put where it goes. Okay. So now let's do our bed. My husband was sleeping, so I couldn't even show you that in the last video. But let's make this one up. Every morning our beds get made up a lot quicker than this, but what I'm trying to show you in a clean with me, because normally we're up at 5. Uh, he gets up at 6.15, I'm up at 5. Sometimes he wakes up when I wake up. So we make the beds because the bed, your house, in my opinion, is not clean if your bed's not made. And that's nothing personal nobody. That's just the way I was brought up and raised. Um, I like a bed to be tidied. It ain't got to be the most fanciest bed. My bed don't even have a headboard. We do plan on getting a new mattress, but it's always made. Kind of deal. So, and then I'll let y'all see where we're at on the timer. Two. Yeah, my husband was caught up in some movie last night, and plus his heart is kind of loud with it not meaning to be but I always lay down before he does so. and this really ain't the blanket like a actual bed blanket it's one of these bigger throws but I like using it as a bed blanket because it's soft and fuzzy and that's what I like to sleep with so. You don't want to spend too much time in one area, but you don't want to leave just, say you're doing dishes for an example, you don't want to just leave water or sticky spot on there. You want to go ahead and finish even if your hour wears, I mean it wears out, runs out, you know. Go ahead and get done what you can do, and, but hey, I you want to focus on areas. What? Oh, he shut us in. You want to focus on areas of the home that you know you're going to be in, whether it's your bed or, you know, whatever that is, you just want to focus on those areas. So. Take these in the kitchen, or no, I'm not going to take them in the kitchen right here, I'm going to put them right there on the dresser. I always tuck my pillowcases in. So we, we don't buy real expensive pillows. We just buy little cheap ones. The little, they got them for like, I think like eight, 12 bucks at Walmart. And then the little thicker ones are about 15 sometimes. And different, depending on what brand you get to. My husband likes a really thin pillow. I don't like a really thick pillow, but I don't like a super thin pillow. So why well, buy a thicker one at Walmart and he gets a thinner one. And you can't even really tell much of a difference because they're not real thick. They're just a little bit more fluffier. So, here we go. We're going to make it happen. This is how we do it, y'all. My mom I got for Valentine's last year, and I love it. Might be stupid, but I like it.
Okay. That smaller thin blanket because I've got one I need to wash on the um, the in the laundry room area. I think on the washer. This is a little thin one. I don't normally keep on the bed, but it works for now. Okay. And I will kind of give you an after sh show too. Show you. Where'd Mason go? Mason! He must always on the couch. Okay. Because I gotta go get waters, Kool Aid. See, we're at 45 minutes, so this could be a kind of a longer video. Maybe it won't be too long, but it could be a little longer. So. What I do in this case, we'll go ahead and wash my hands and finish up the kitchen. What, Mason? Can I have a cup of milk, please? Yeah, can you hear? Thanks. My hands are already clean, but I always double wash them, so don't worry, y'all. I'll be grabbing a cup. They're already clean. I'm just washing them again. Okay, well, we got to go to store it a little bit and get it. Put it in the trash. Don't put it right there. Thanks, Mama. You're such the You're greatest welcome. mama ever. The greatest mama ever. Y'all heard. Heard him say it. I'm above y'all's head for a minute, and that's all you're seeing. Okay. All right. See our crock pot right here needs to be plugged in or thing. Our cat's food, because he's on a urinary care. We get this through uh, Chewy.com. It's a, a special kind because he's had kidney failure a couple times. So that stays up here, and that's why behind, some people are like, why do you keep your cat's food up on the thing? For that reason. So, yes. Empty bottles and stuff that need to go out in the recycle. I'm just going to put it over on the table. <coughs> what are you barking about? I think he just heard a dog. There is nothing out there. I think he just heard the wind blowing at a dog. Uh, there's someone that has.
know that my parents are a little older, you know. So if it helps, I just sometimes things get behind and you have to spend time kind of bouncing. It's called well, I, well multitasking, but that's like being able to accomplish more than one thing, you know. And we all work different, and that's okay. Don't let someone question how you clean or how you do things. If it works for you and you're comfortable with it, that is okay. chunk of your cleaner right there. 37 minutes and 45 seconds. But I, I need to mop too. I don't know if I'll get to that. I need to. I desperately need to mop over the floors. I've got people going over looking at this house. That was why my dog was going crazy too. we had.
got a myth or something. I'm not sure, but I think it was cheese or something. And we got a little bit of silverware here. I'm going to dry that off. And we'll move this. And you do, however, want to keep the a fresh towel. Keep these clean too. You can put these in bleach water. So this gets moved so that it can get a new one. I just use a regular like, bath towel. You can buy different ones. I just like them because they're a little bit thicker. And yeah, hang out of the way. And I'm using Dawn today instead of um dish soap. I mean instead of the soft scrub. And now I just. And give this a nice, good scrub. Just wet it down a little bit, get a little bit of water. Yeah. You know, clean up your sink. You know, clean up the. I love that little scrub brush. It makes it clean it. Yeah, like gunky food out. It would have just been sitting there holding on, you know. And this I just drop down into the thing. This and get some warm water. And the top part I don't worry about so I don't get a, too much of a puddle and mess and fall and break my neck from it running everywhere. I get the sink part and then I'll get a towel and I use the microfiber cloth to uh, clean that. You'll see. You can grab one. be for that but and then I take my Lysol spray I always use the Lysol all-purpose cleaner I love it works great and give a good spray sometimes luckily not always sometimes I'll finish up before um, my timer goes off not always but sometimes I do I'll get like the, the most things because pretty, you pretty much know what you want to clean and what you want to do. And sometimes I'll get finished before. It's not always thing, but sometimes. So. And I move kind of fast, y'all. So sorry, that's what the power hour. Keep, for me, the power hour keeps me motivated, so I ain't sitting down getting lazy or getting caught up in a TV show. Um, it makes me work at a decent pace to where I know I'm going to get, you know, even if I miss one little tiny spot, a sticky spot, or a shirt that didn't get folded, I'm going to get a majority of the work knocked out. And so if I want to do something different, I can spend that extra time working on it and not stressing, you know? So that, I think that in itself is the beauty. And I'm just really wiping really good, y'all. That's why you keep seeing me wipe. Um, of the clean with it is being able to know that you can wipe down and clean your section. Then I put down a clean towel for my dish strainer. Back over here. This goes back over here. I like to kind of give the bottom a white down a little bit. And I'm going to pick up over here and white. These are going to move the dad. I'll always move these. I'm just being real with you in my video on how I clean. Sometimes I clean a little bit more in a lazier way. I'll leave that to pick it up. I've already picked it up and wiped under it once. Let's do it again. The microwave. I don't like food, and we, t we tend to get the little bitty black ants come in occasionally. 
so. My cord's pretty good and clean because I wiped it out the other day, but, oops, sorry. It's always good to still give an extra wipe down. We got sugar in this one. That bad boy. There. Tea bags. My mom gave me these. Oh, we got flour because we cook with flour. I'm not the cook, my husband is. He cooks with flour a good bit though. We keep it out for him. I always put two tiles, one over top, this side, and then one to go on my fridge door, which you'll see in just a minute. Wipe down right here. This one I'm just going to slide around a little bit. I don't have a fancy home. I have a, I try to keep it clean and nice home, I guess you could say. There's a lot of little things we still want to do around here. And. We are doing it, I'm wiping them down mostly around the door handles. We are doing it little by little. So, here we go. Okay. Now over here, stove air and stuff like that. This rag's dirty. This one's clean, it was just sitting out. Dirty and dirty. You can go over there. Red. My oven, did, my oven needs a real good clean on the inside. That is not going to be in this clean on me. I need to pick up some of the, they got this new, well it's not new, but I guess it would be new to me. Because I'm bad to get the one with the fumes in it. It's like a non-fume um, cleaner. And that uh, is good for the um, oven. I smell all the fumes and stuff. So. Just what you do how to do sometimes. You just have to pick up, scatter around the mess, and keep running with it. So I'm just going to give a quick wipe down up because this doesn't been wiped down. Top part I try to keep clean. It's an old where I plan on getting a new one. That's another project when we get back home. in the drainer for now, even though it's dry. That's probably as soon as I pick up Kool-Aid. Son's gonna want me to make it. That, my friends, is how we whip a kitchen in shape. We're at 26 minutes. These bottles, we got to go out and recycle. We do uh, recycle, and then i got to get the living room area picked up, and then I'll wipe down the kitchen table and vacuum. We recycle all our cans and bottles. Something we definitely, definitely do. Let me turn down this music. I do not own rights. Let me turn it down. It's just gospel music. Start in here. Let's get some work done in here. We're mostly picking up. This is the bag. I got this at the Walmart and it's a little town called Jamestown. It's got a side pocket. Nice little shoulder. Pretty good size on the inside. Pocket here and then like a bigger pocket on the inside. I'm not going to show. Um, 
But it's by Adidas. This will be one that be like a carry-on bag for the plane. And we got another small one. Need to, need to go in the room temporarily. Sometimes I will stop and check just in case. What? Yeah, Mason's little course to his little car things he got from his Aunt Kim and this box. We charge them out here. Really? Yeah, that'll be okay. boys are messy. They try not to be, but they are. into my laptop and upload y'all from my small little camera. He says, I need to go in and do the editing and put y'all up. This one can be kind of a pain. This is going to take probably my time right here. I don't know. Hopefully not, but we'll see. I tried to put the cover because this is an older rocker. Ooh, I but. It does help keep it. We're bad not to eat the table late in the evening. We'll eat at the couch and chair, and then that's where a lot of it extra crumbs and stuff come from. I think a lot of people do that. You're sure? Not, not everybody, but I think a lot of people choose to be in their own comfy spot when they eat. <coughs> hey, is no one out there? My dog's barking. Like I say, there's people looking at the house that is for sale. And my dog's going crazy. Someone's out there, Mama. I'm telling you, you don't listen. Say something. Else. Mason, where's the other controller to your uh, switch thing? 
You need to go outside and find it and bring it in to the Mario and Luigi. Uh oh, the Switch? I don't even know what this guy said. It's probably trash. Probably a little toy or cheap toy or something. Well, I'll get it for you. Please do. I'm coming. Hold on. Sometimes you have to... I don't spend a lot of time making sure my couch is perfect because I am planning on doing some work. This was not one that we bought, y'all. This was one my parents gave to me. And I'm just going to put new uh, couch covers and new... Um, Probably buy new pillows because they sell them. It's the place I'm looking at. In there. Hold on a minute. What, Mason? Oh, it works out of the controller. Put these two. Here, I'll get it. Go. Good grief. You want to show the YouTubers what you got? Yeah. He got these controllers and these control these. Mark. And these con cars. Let's Pretty see. cool. Mario, Luigi, and Mario, and Mario, and they they race. So, and that's what I wanted him to. They're gonna stay in here because he'll be wanting to play with them during the day. Yeah. So, I got a Windex table, and then I can vacuum. What a life. I use a non-streak uh, glass cleaner. I normally get these over at Walmart. So, and this table, a lot of people give me comments on. It was uh, just a used table from Miranda's uh, thrift store. And it's a little bit more of a pricier thrift store than somewhere like Goodwill, Salvation Army, um, Hope Shed. Uh, that's the ones I know that we got around here anyways, you know. And, this is a little bit more of a pricier kind of name brand, I guess you'd call thrift store. I don't know. But they have nicer stuff is what I'm trying to say. They even carry a lot of, like, name brand stuff. It might be used. The items might be used once or twice, but they'll put it in their store. So. It's just Windex. Make sure it goes on the thing, yeah. That was that, y'all. <coughs> well, if you don't quit your barking, I'm going to knock your head right off your shoulder. It's okay. Nobody dare. Someone might be moving in. Watch out. But, see, we are at 43 minutes. And... We still got about 17 minutes on the clock, which gives us enough time to get this table right here wiped down and the litter box cleaned. I don't know if we'll get vacuuming and sweeping and all that good stuff down, but we're going to try. Set y'all over here. Y'all can watch me clean out my cat's litter box. My carpet needs shampooing really bad. That's why it's... Uh, so much easier when we track in uh, dirt and stuff, but that's okay. We change this litter out about every three days, and we just scoop out um, it's a dirty, and then we buy like Arm and Hammer powder that gets put in there like every other day. So the day is not the day he gets the powder put down in there. He just gets a good clean because this gets done every day. Make sure he's using a, and then he gets his litter dumped. He'll get fresh litter. Cats kind of take care of themselves. Some people bathe them out. We don't give our cat a bath. He cleans himself. Good job, you two. We made our baby. It's a good thing if you can keep their boxes kind of cleaned up. 
and out as much as you can. And there are different ways that work. I've kind of Googled online a lot of the stuff that's good. And that's where I got the um, the whole uh, arm and hammer thing at. And it, do it doesn't hurt them. Or you can use, if you don't want to use arm and hammer, like the powder, you can use uh, baking soda. And that just takes away the, because cats can have a strong pee and a strong poopy odor. So you just want to get something that, uh, uh, you know, you want to make sure you put sprinkling something down in there. You don't want to do it every day, every other day. And once again, this is what I do for my cat. This is what works for me. It may not work for you, and that's okay. You know? Or you may like something better. You may not think it's, you may think it's too sanitized, not sanitized enough. Completely okay, y'all. Completely okay. One thing I've learned with doing these clean with me, but even without sharing them with y'all, is you gotta do what you're comfortable with. As long as you're getting the access dirt and stuff up, you gotta do what you're comfortable with. I'm gonna go get my hands a good wash in the bathroom. In the bathroom? Yes, as I touch poopy litter, and I'm gonna try to clean as much as I can the rest of that house up. Whatever don't get done this morning will be like an evening tidy up that I can finish. Because I do want to work on my yards, get over to Walmart. tired now an hour definitely will wear you down if you're not used to it okay so we're gonna go this way and get over here and then we'll come back to the kitchen area and vacuum it up and then get the living room area I got a little brush I like these where'd I put it is it on here have you seen the little brush Mason did it fall yeah it fell back here I haven't seen it okay I'll get it Have a little smaller one, but it didn't pick up the best. Let's see how many updates we got today. I only used it for like a month or two, and then this is a, the Beastle. Let's pick it up, access litter. Sometimes instead of uh, sweeping, I will vacuum the kitchen so I can get around the, cr uh, the crumbs. My cord's getting hung up on something. There we go. And you'll see me do that.
get around the chairs. We got not long, y'all. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. We gotta get the table wipe off real quick, though. I'm gonna get new uh, covers to put down on my um on my chairs too. Kitchen chairs. The wind that I didn't put up. Okay. We'll get my life saw. And just give a good all right, well, all these placemats. Oh, well, you're not missing crumbs that might hit the floor. You want to go ahead and handle those first. This table gets wiped down three or four times. It's not too bad, but any crumbs that are sitting up here, go ahead and knock them down in the floor so they can be vacuumed and swept up, or you can knock them down in your hand if you'd rather not just go straight in the floor with them. thing back in because I'll probably do the vacuum in the evening go ahead and just give everything a nice spray down my vacuum can be evening time vacuum
I'm back. I like to take a little bit of soap, bring it just like run across the middle, and kind of wet it and squeeze it with that Lysol. And to me, it just gives such a much. The Lysol does a job that it, it pulls a little bit harder on the sticky spots. So we're at five minutes. We're gonna do it. And we can get these chairs put back. Okay, I gotta get water. I think my cat, he had just see him out here, but he, I think he's hiding because he don't like the vacuum. And that's okay. I don't want him to be freaked out. I'd rather him go run and hide or you'll find a room to get up into. And while I'm waiting on that, I might as well go ahead and boogie on down to this. And I'm not doing a real thorough, I'm just doing kind of a spot mop because when everybody lays down, my boys tend to be laid down or off doing something else. I can do this when there's not a lot of coming through the kitchen and tracking up. It gets all those big spots out of the floor and that's what I want anyways. We're we going to leave it right there. We're not going to go no further with the mop. We are at three minutes. I can't, y'all probably can't see that other than me just saying it. So let's get some spray. I need to clean this out up here one day. I need to find a good spray. I love this one to freeze. This is by Gain. I'm just going to go in and, as you see, everything we clean. Spray it's Mason's room. Here's our room. Pluto's I made a mess of the bed. It's our room. Diva room is kind of a mess. It's okay. okay. We did not manage to get the bathroom. It needs a good wipe down, scrubby. The wall, that part's got to be, we got to get the bottom. The leak's gone, but we just ain't put the bottom part on the couch. We should spray Mason. This is the living room area. And we're probably going to get our feet dirty. It's okay. I can hop over to the kitchen area. So, that is it. If you like, then please subscribe. Make sure to hit the thumbs up. and. Y'all be blessed and be strong, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Mason.